you are getting pains like this, and it's making you want to throw your keyboard out the window, don't worry I've got you covered. Today, I am going to show you how to fix your ping in Valorant, and these steps will work for any kind of multiplayer games that you play. Whether your game is stuttering, lagging, or just plain slow, we will sort it out together. So if you are ready to go from laggy to legendary, let's jump right in. First, let's make sure we have a safety net by creating a restore point on your PC. Type create a restore point in your Windows search bar and select it. Click the create button, give your restore point a name like latency tweak, and hit create again. It'll take just a few seconds. Now that's done, we're ready to get started. Before we dive into this video, make sure to hit that like button. It helps the YouTube algorithm show my content to more people. Right now, only 1.9% of you are subscribed to the channel, and we can do better than that. Your support means the world to me and helps keep these tips and tricks coming. Now let's jump right in. Now search for command prompt and run it as an administrator. Type ping 1.1.1.1 and press enter. Then note down the average ping. Next, type ping 8.8.8.8 and press enter, and note the average ping again. Choose the server with the lowest average ping and note down the DNS server number. Next, go to the network connections option and choose your network, whether it's your Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection. Click on properties. Find and select Internet Protocol version 4. Then click on, use the following DNS server addresses. Type the DNS server address that had the lowest average ping. If it was ping 1.1.1.1, use 1.0.0.1 as alternate DNS server address, or if it was ping 8.8.8.8, use 8.8.4.4 as alternate DNS server address. Finally, click OK. OK. Now let's move on to the next step. Now, search for allow an app through Windows Firewall and open it. Click change settings and press allow another app. Then navigate to your game's current location. Go to the Riot Client folder and add Riot Client services to the firewall settings. Next, let's disable Windows updates running in the background. These updates can cause network issues during ranked matches, but you can enable them later whenever you want. To disable updates, press Windows key plus R, type services.msc, and click OK. Find Windows Update, open its properties and disable it. Now let's stop your browser from running unwantedly in the background. Open your browser, go to Settings, then System and disable continue running background apps when Chrome is closed. Let's move on to the next step. Now open Device Manager by searching in the search bar. Go to Network Adapters, then find and select your PCIe Family Controller. Go to the Driver tab and update the driver. After updating, go to the Advanced tab. Here click on Advanced Triple E and disable it. Then disable energy, efficient ethernet. Disable green ethernet. Disable power saving mode. Finally, disable wake on magic packet. After all these steps, go to the power management tab and uncheck all the items. Finally click OK to apply all these settings. Let's move on to the next step. Now go to Chrome, search for TCP optimizer, and open the first link to start downloading. The link is also in the description. After downloading the software, install TCP Optimizer on your PC by running it as an administrator. Initially, select your network adapter, which is your PCIe family controller, and set your network speed to maximum. Now select Custom and go to Advanced Settings. In the Internet Explorer Optimization section, set all values to 10. In the Host Resolution Priority option, Set local priority to 4, host priority to 5, DNS priority to 6, and NetBT priority to 7. Now go to the retransmission section. Set the max SYN retransmissions value to 2, and disable non-RTT resiliency. In the retransmit timeout section, set initial RTO to 2000, and minimum RTO to 300. Next, go to the QoS option and set it to optimal 1. Then go to the Gaming Tweaks option, set Network Throttling to Disabled, and set System Responsiveness to Gaming Zero. Now follow these further steps.
In the dynamic port allocation section, set max user port value to 65532 and set TCP timed wait delay to 32. Finally, click apply changes and reboot your PC. Let's move on to the next step. Now, open your game and go to the settings. Now go to general options, set network buffering to maximum. Next, open task manager by pressing control plus, shift plus escape. Go to the startup tab and disable the apps you don't need to run at the startup of your PC. Okay, now you're all set. That's it for this video. I hope these steps help you fix your ping issues in Valorant. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more gaming tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments below. Also, share this video with your friends who might need a ping boost. Happy gaming and stay tuned, stay safe, bye bye.